Welcome to the 22nd day of your Lenten program, your spiritual journey. How was your journey yesterday? I hope everything went well. How are you? How are you doing? I hope you are improving in your spiritual life. Beloved, do not think that worshipping God is a waste of time. I never think that this Lenten program is a waste of time. Never think that what you are doing is a waste of time. It's never. Always understand that every spiritual journey is a journey that is full of grace. This journey is full of grace. God will bless you in a way you may not even expect. Do not ever joke with the power of God. The Lenten program is never and not a waste of time. So beloved, let us be convinced that God is always with us. God is real, but God has principles. Let us try and know these principles. The problem is that we are yet to know them. Therefore, let us use this opportunity or let us use this journey and make a small attempt in knowing who God is. We have to know how He does, how He answers prayers, and what makes Him happy. God is a being, it's not all about praying and shouting. You have to know Him first. You have to know what happens when we interact with God. You have to know what happens early in the morning. Many Christians are not are not yet aware of the graces of early morning prayers. And many of them or many of us do not know how to pray. So let us come close to God first. The more we do that, the more our prayer love we begin to increase. So let everything we do henceforth rise out out of our desire and hunger for God. Many people today only know God in terms of what He does and what He will do for them. No! This shows that one is still baby in the spiritual world. That is why our prayers are not ans- are not passing the roof of our houses even. Remember, you can never cheat on God. What God wants from us is an intimate and personal relationship. He says, let those who want to draw from the well of salvation come first. Check Isaiah 22, 2-3, Isaiah 55, verses 1, Revelation 22, 16-17, John 7, 37-39. Therefore, we must be close to God first. The prodigal son has to come back to the father and make his, his request. Therefore, let us do the same. How can we be asking somebody for something from a distance? We do not do it to people. Then why then do we do it to God? Why then do we remain far away from God and yet He wants Him to carry our burdens? Wants Him to carry all our problems? Let us come close to God now. For the spiritual activity of today, pray for someone you know that is suffering. Pray your rosary, visit the blessed sacrament, Page 51 to the 391, 1 to 600. Also, may death on Ephesians 6, verses 1 to 20. May God, through His wisdom, and reveal to all the secrets of His kingdom and bless us with abundant favors as we journey on. Amen. God bless you.